What's going on guys? This is Mike Noy and today I will be showing you guys my entire Bakugan collection and I'm not just going to be showing off the Bakugan themselves. I'm also going to be showing you guys everything I have Bakugan related in my house. So when I was first introduced to Bakugan, I was in the fourth grade. Uh, that was probably around 2008 2009 and it was actually during PE where they brought out different stations and everything it was like a little play date for us in PE and one of the stations actually had Bakugan right we went over to the station and we we're just rolling these little marbles and when they touched the magnet cards they just pop out I instantly thought that was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life and it's funny because as soon as it was time to put everything away, the coaches saw that a Bakugan was actually missing. So they actually held us back and we couldn't go back to our class until someone returned that Bakugan. And it turns out it was just misplaced. But ever since then, I've been totally into Bakugan. Uh, I haven't been too into the new series that much. Like I said before, I only saw a little bit of the new show. I've only collected a small amount of Bakugan from the new show. But regardless, I'm still a huge fan of Bakugan. I know a lot of people who've been following me on the channel are a huge fan as well, which is what inspired me to do this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at some Bakugan. So we're gonna take a look at all the old Bakugan I still own. A lot of Bakugan I collected as a kid, I sold or lost. So my collection really has gone down, but this is what I still managed to keep. And starting off, we have this first case right here that's full of Ventus, Pyrus, and one Darkest Bakugan. So we're gonna start with the Ventus Bakugan. The first one we have is Serpinoid, Cosmic Ingram, Ravenoid, Oberus, Fear Ripper, another Fear Ripper, a Pearl Gorum, Storm Skyrus, Cycloid, and then I have this Bronze Storm Skyrus, and it's still Ventus as you can see. It's just kind of hard to see. I don't know, this is a really cool looking Bakugan. Limulus, and then another Storm Skyrus. This has a little bit of a different paint. It might have just lost its color over time, but I mean, it's uh, still Storm Skyrus. And then we have the Pyrus Bakugan in this case, starting with Terra Claw, a Translucent Centipoid, a Pearl Robotalian, Preus, Kaleidol, a Pearl Serpinoid, Reaper, Juggernoid, Spin Dragonoid, Dragonoid, and then Tigrera. And the only darkest Bakugan in this case is Midnight Percival. So going to the next case of Bakugan, uh, we pretty much have Chaos, uh, we have a few Aqua, Subterra, and Darkest Bakugan. So starting with the Chaos Bakugan, we have a Translucent Tigrera, Tentaclear, Luminous. We have a Spin Dragonoid that won't spin, another Storm Skyrus, and then Helix Dragonoid. And then our three Aquas Bakugan are Serpinoid, Diablo, and Tentaclear. Moving on to Subterra Bakugan, we have Dragonoid, Falconeer, Fear Ripper, Warrius, Hammer Gorum, Blade Tigrera, another Hammer Gorum, and then a Translucent Reaper. And then finally, Darkest, we have a Wavern, Robotalian, Preus, and then one of my favorites, Dual Hydronoid, Sirenoid, Ravenoid, and then Alpha Percival. Moving on to the next case, we have just a variety of Bakugan. Starting with the darkest Bakugan, we have a Translucent Percival, another Midnight Percival, Elfin, Rubenoid, and then probably one of the coolest Bakugan I have is Raisinoid. Going to Chaos, we have Spindle, and this is the one that came with the Maxis Helios bundle. Nemesis, another Limulus, Contestier, and then another really cool looking Bakugan is Plithion. Next up for Pyrus Bakugan, we have a Hyper Dragonoid, Griffin, Cordum and Spindle. Next up for a Subterra Bakugan, we have Rubenoid, Wormquake, Juggernoid, Helix Dragonoid, and another Rubenoid. 
And then Aqua Spockagon, we have Alars Lion, Lou McGraw, and then Neo Dragonoid. And then finally, the Ventus Bakugan, we have B Striker and Strike Flyer. And now let's take a look at this final case of the old Bakugan. Starting off with Pyrus Bakugan, we have Pyrus Warius, Delta Dragonoid, a regular Dragonoid, and then Dual Hydronoid. Subterra Bakugan, we have Claydol, a third Rubenoid, and another Wormquake. And in Chaos Bakugan, we have a Pearl Gorum, Fox Bat, and another Contestier. Ventus Bakugan, we have a Brontes and Saurus. For Aquas Bakugan, we have a Griffin and a Bakugan Super Assault Faroxpin. This one was pretty cool. And then the only darkest Bakugan I have in this case is a Siege. I also keep inside this case a rule book of the new Bakugan game and a 40 card deck of the new Bakugan game. I just ran out of space everywhere else so I just figured I'd just keep it in there. And just to get these out of the way I have two Deku slash big Bakugan. The first one is a darkest Midnight Percival that was too big to get on camera and then a Ventus Wilda. So next up we're going to go ahead and check what's inside this thing called a Baku Sphere. Inside I have a few Bakugan and some cards. And let's go ahead and start with the Pyrus Bakugan and we're going to start with a very special one. This is just a regular Neo Dragonoid but this is the first ever Bakugan I've ever owned. I don't know how I didn't lose this or got rid of it but I've managed to keep it. As you can see it doesn't want to come out anymore. The magnet is kind of weak but it still holds a lot of sentimental value. This Bakugan has been with me since I was like 8 or 9. Then we have a Tuxnor. A Fencer. This also is supposed to go with Maxis Helios. And then we have Fusion Dragonoid. Or you can call this one Command X Dragonoid. This one came with Dragonoid Destroyer, which I will show in just a bit. Next up, I got two Aquas Bakugan. Aragon. This is a Sky Raider that's supposed to jump off the card when it comes out. However, the spring is kind of messed up, so it doesn't like to come out anymore. And then another Lars Lion. And then finally, the Subterra Bakugan, we have one that's called Bull Cannon. It would be really cool for it to see it spin, however, its little arm uh, broke off, which is kind of sucks. And then Scrapper. It's kind of broken, I had to tape it just to close it, but you, uh, once you remove the tape though, it opens up. And then the cards are just a bunch of gate cards and ability cards, as well as the Dragonoid Destroyer card. And then the little gate card for the Mechdagons. And then once we remove this part right here, we get access to the traps and Baku Nanos I have inside. Starting with the traps, these are supposed to form together to make Maxis Dragonoid. Starting with Spider Fencer, Baractium, Dark Hound, Gracchus Hound, and Spit Arm. And then the two Baku Nanos I have are Hammermore. You just split them apart and then you press the buttons for the spikes to come out and then hyper pulsar and then i have a mectagon this one's called diesel this is a subterra mectagon and all you got to do is get the gate card for it you put it to the back and then it opens up and then that reveals the g power and then let's move on to the next baku sphere and then as you can see when we open it up we do have a, another mectagon we have one battle gear, a couple traps, and then more Baku Nanos. So let's look at the Metagon. This one's called the Nexus. Once again, we get the gate card to the back and then it opens up. And then for the traps, we have Pyrus Scorpion and then Chaos Pythantis. And then the one battle gear I have is a gold Chompix. And then for the Baku Nanos, we have a Bombaplod and a Cross Striker. And then finally we have the Dragon Destroyer. This can be used in a battle since it does have G power on it. But I mean it's 
basically just a toy. You're supposed to put a Bakugan in there and it's supposed to unravel like so, but it, it just doesn't want to stay closed. So I just had to hold it before I demonstrate. But yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and look at the new Bakugan. I have most of them stored in this case. I have two that I keep outside be just because I ran out of room. Starting off with the Aquas Bakugan, we have Dragonoid. Mentanoid Ultra and of course these are supposed to be rolled on a Baku core, but I'm just using the gate card Diamond Hydra Auris and Garganoid Ultra and then my only chaos Bakugan is Fangzor and then moving on to the Ventus Bakugan we have Pegatrix Fangzor and then Fade Ninja this one looks sick moving on to Darkest Bakugan we have Hydra Auris Nelius Ultra and then another Hydra Auris. I totally forgot I have two of them. And then my only Auraless Bakugan, I have Pegatrix. And then for Pyrus Bakugan, we have a Dragonoid, a Maxator, and then two more Dragonoids. We have a Dragonoid that came from Armored Alliance, and then one that looks pretty much identical to it is one that came from the deluxe edition of champions of Destroya. i mean you got some really minor differences here just you got different paint job and also they both have two different b powers and that's pretty much it for all the bakugan toys if you were wondering which two gay cards i was using these are the two i was using so let's go ahead and show off some of this other stuff i have so let's take a look at some cards i have this regular black box uh, this is where I keep a bunch of loose cards. This is just filled with gate cards and ability cards. And then I also have this Bakugan box that was supposed to be meant for gate cards and ability cards. But I'm using it for these little Ben 10 sumo figures like way back in the day. I don't, I don't know if anyone remember these. But that's why I use this box for. And then I have two binders full of Bakugan cards. This first one is a Ventus themed binder as you can see i just have a bunch of cards uh, i don't think any of these are really that rare but i mean this is just what i keep in there just to have something in the binder and then i have a pyrus binder this one features drago on the front and i have this little sleeve thing the other one for the ventus one pretty much broke so i had to throw it away but this one's really worn out as well this is a really cool dragonoid on the back the ventus one had skyrus on the back which was also really cool and then as you can see uh just more cards i don't know if there's anything rare in here y'all can tell me in the comments i also have a couple other baku cores and bakugan cards that i keep outside of that case of the new bakugan and a couple things i have from the new bakugan series i have two unopened diamond gorithion bakugans I believe these were just on sale, that's why I ended up getting two, and I mean Diamond Bakugan are some of the more rare Bakugan of this series. And then I also have the Battle Arena for the new series as well. As you can see, it looks like a giant Baku core, and it also came with six rails so the Bakugan won't fly out when you roll onto the Battle Arena. And then I have a Bakugan launcher which allows you to launch a Bakugan from your wrist, and then you can also store to Bakugan in those spheres. And then I have a hand launcher, which is basically like that other launcher, except you just press the button and that launches the Bakugan for you. This is also known as the Baku shot. And then I have the Bakugan gauntlet, which was featured in the new Vistroya season. Uh, this is basically a calculator as well as a, another way of getting more G power. I don't know if it's broken or it needs more batteries, but the screen's kind of messed up and it doesn't display the numbers properly, but it still kind of works. I also have a couple of books, starting with the How to Draw book. Uh, this just features characters and Bakugan from the first season. I think I only used it a couple times. And then I have the Ultimate Handbook that features Bakugan from the first three seasons. And this is what I was just using uh, for this video, so I knew <laughs> the names of some of the Bakugan because honestly, I just forgot some of them. Uh, this is a really cool book. It tells you about all the different Bakugan that were released and some of the typings that were released as well. And then this is a trading card handbook. Uh, it features not only Bakugan, but Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh as well. And it basically tells you which Bakugan and cards you should use when playing the actual game. 
I have this little DVD of just one episode from season one called A Combination Battle. I don't know if anyone remembers this episode. It's the one with the two magicians where Dan and Runo had a fight together and beat them. Uh, not the best episode just because it was kind of filler. Of course, we had to talk about the video game since this is a video game channel. So I have the Bakugan Battle Brawlers video game. This is the first video game that they released. I have the Xbox 360 version and the Wii version as well as the DS version. I just have this one loose. Moving on, we have the Defenders of the Core game. I have it for the Wii as well as the PlayStation 3. I just had a live stream beating Defenders of the Core. And this one's fairly new in my collection. This is Battle Trainer for the DS. I still don't know what it's quite about. I haven't got a chance to play it yet. And then I have Rise of the Resistance. Basically, this works as a balloon tower defense game with Bakugan and it's actually pretty fun. And then the final Bakugan game, of course, is Champions of Destroyer for the Nintendo Switch. You guys already know how I feel about this game. I actually made a full detailed review of the game, so if you want to go check that out, please do so. And that's it for all of my Bakugan related products. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of Bakugan. Uh, I've grew up with the show. I'm not really a big fan of the new one. I might have to go back and give that another shot. Uh, I mean, just Bakugan is just a really cool franchise. This was a highly requested video from a lot of you guys who attended those Bakugan live streams. And I just want to say thank you guys for supporting me through those live streams and also uh, the Bakugan related content as well as every other content i've been posting i really do appreciate it so let me know in the comments below what is your favorite bakugan of all time thank you guys for watching and of course i will see you guys in the next one take care i'm still salty about champions of destroyer man i can't believe they fumbled the bag